What's up, folks? It's Double Base Day, the series where we take two whiskeys and put them head to head to compare the similarities and differences between them. This week's episode was a fun request to see how the new 90 proof $35 bourbon from Green River Distilling, which is a high rye bourbon, compares to the 93 proof relatively unknown bottle named Blanton's. It's the horsey top versus the horseshoe. Who wins? It's Double Base. What's up folks, I'm Jason C from The Master and Drum and welcome to Double Bass, the series where we take two whiskeys, put them head to head. If you have any suggestions for some head to head matchups, leave them below in the comments. Let's meet our two contenders. Green River Distillery, now restored to its former glory, is flowing with Green River Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey again. This high rye bourbon whiskey is made with corn grown in the same Kentucky countryside as the same limestone filtered water that original founder J.W. McCulloch used in his secret recipe all those years ago. It's aged at least four years, bottled at 90 proof, and retails for only 35 bucks. There's nothing that hasn't already been said about the iconic single barrel bourbon from Buffalo Trace named Blanton's. Dubbed as the original single barrel bourbon with its grenade shaped design, handwritten labels, and collectible racehorse cork toppers, it is bottled at 93 proof and is said to be around six years old these days. Now it retails for 65 bucks, but its cult following and the high demand for this bottle has driven up price. Uh, mostly three to four times in most cases. All right, so I wanted to put these two together just because, you know, they both have high ride mash bills. One's 35 bucks and pretty new to the scene. And, you know, then you have Blanton's, which is, like I said, has I cold following. You know, mostly it's marked up, you know, three to four times the actual price of it just because it's hard to get and it's Blanton's and it's Buffalo Trace and all that fun stuff that we all know and love. To this day, folks still here in my area still wait online for a bottle of Blanton's but let's see let's see if it wins out let's see if it actually takes out the Green River or if the Green River the underdog takes out the big behemoth named Blanton so let's go to the nose first first one's very sweet very vanilla very caramel not getting too much of the spice Slight hint of cherry, maybe some cinnamon there as well. All right, let's go to this one here. Hmm, this one seems a little bit more dense, has a little bit more oak to it. A little bit more dark fruit in this one I'm picking up. Man, hint of chocolate here too. I really like the nose on number two compared to number one so far. Yeah, number one's just coming off a little bit lighter, whereas number two just has a little bit more density to it. So I'm gonna give the nod to number two for the nose. All right, let's go to the palate, here we go. Great finish on number one. It's a little bit thin, but great finish on it. Again, getting more of that, you know, they're both high rye, so, or higher rye, <laughs> but uh, really good, really good, uh, um, spice and and cinnamon and a little bit of a little bit of a tingly oak presence on the back end of that one a little bit thin though on the palate second sip was actually better it's nice i'm actually getting a little hint of a cherry note on this one too not overly cherry but there is definitely some Definitely some sweet corn, little little bit of a creme brulee vanilla cream thing going on. But again, a little bit thin on the palate. The star of the show on number one is the finish. So let's go to number two. Number two, I'm getting all that cherry. Some cinnamon there too. I'm getting the chocolate that I was getting on the nose on the palate, which is, which is very, very nice. The finish on number one is way more interesting. The palette on number two is more interesting. So I don't really know where to go with this one. Take one more quick sip of each. I 
I dig the spice and the sweetness on the first one here. And I love the finish on it. The finish is a little bit longer, but I still maintain, I think it's a little bit thinner on the palette overall, but it seems to be a little bit more interesting. Let's go to number two. Oh, number two, that sip was better. This is tough. I mean, they're, they're a lot closer than I feel like they should be. I mean, Blanton's is just so sought after. Then you have Green River, which is relatively new. I feel like I'm getting more viscosity, though, from number two. The finish is starting to come through as well. I might have to lean towards number two a little bit here. Yeah, a little more oak, a little more spice. It's just a little bit texturally. It's just a little creamier than number one. Number one, man, number one gave it a fight, though, but... I'm gonna have to give the gonna have to give the palette to number two here. Yeah, lingering finish, a little more cherry, a little more depth to it. Honestly, I don't know which one is which. Um, I thought I'd be able to really pick these out just tasting them, but that's not happening. All right, let's go to the finish. Again, number one has a great finish. I'm getting all the, the super sweetness, the oak, the cinnamon, little bit of cherry still, you know, that sweetness, a little light caramel as well. Almost an apple note that's starting to come through in number one too. Again, a little bit of like a caramel apple as well. Let's go to this one. You know what? The finish falls off quicker, I think, on number two. It's very, it's a lot creamier, a little bit more viscous, but the finish is starting to fall off now on number two. One more sip. Yeah. I prefer the finish on number one. So, palate and nose goes to number two. And finish goes to number one. So, number two is going to come in with the victory. That was way closer than I thought it would be. Before we see the final results, I want to introduce you to a new sponsor here on the Master and Drum, Caldara Lab. Caldara Lab creates high-performance men's self-care products by combining pharmaceutical-grade science, nature's purest and most potent ingredients, and sustainable business practices. Today we're talking about Caldara Lab's best-selling product. It's called The Good, and it's their award-winning multifunctional serum that's been pretty much breaking the internet. Now, for me personally, my skin dries out pretty quick, but since I started using this for about a month, my skin feels smoother, less dry, looks better on camera, and I've even gotten compliments on how good my skin looks from my girlfriend who is very, very focused on skincare herself and wanted to use it. It's actually a really easy way for guys like me to take care of their skin in one easy step. Like I said, this was designed to help address wrinkles, fine lines, uneven skin tone with clinically proven results. GQ Magazine just named it the best natural face serum for men and they have teamed up with NFL legend Tony Gonzalez, that's right, former tight end of my favorite team, the Atlanta Falcons. The Good Multifunctional Serum is made from 27 active plant botanicals infused over four weeks using a patented process which took over two years to develop. All you have to do is use this dropper that's built into this slick looking bottle, put a few drops in your hand, and then put it on your neck and on your face right before bedtime, that's it. Literally brush your teeth, floss, wash your face, then dry your face, and then use this, and that's it. Typically results, they say, come in about 60 days, but I already noticed a big difference in just 30 days. So not only is this helping me look and feel better and feel more confident, Caldera Lab is a company I feel good about supporting. All their products are sustainably sourced and packaged and cruelty free, and they've earned the prestigious B Corp certification. On top of that, they also donate 2% of all their revenue to vetted nonprofit organizations. Everything Caldera Lab makes is 100% non-toxic, vegan, dermatologically tested, and clinically proven to work for all skin types. So if you guys are interested in your skin looking and feeling better, click the link below in the description to get a special discount of 20% off your first bottle or simply use the code MASHINDRUM for 20% off at checkout. Again, click the link below in the description to get a special discount of 20% off your first bottle or simply use the code MASHINDRUM for 20% off at checkout. Another great thing is that there's no risk in trying this, guys. Every purchase is backed by Caldera Labs 100% money back guarantee. Try it for 60 days. If you don't love it, then you can get a 100% refund, no questions asked. So give it a try, your face will thank you later. All right, it's time to find out. You guys ready? You guys ready? You guys ready? 
All right, here we go. Number two, the winner goes to the horsey top. <laughs> ah, the horsey top takes it, but coming in a very close second, this Green River bottle, uh, Green River Distilling. Man, a little bit more age on this. And if this, I think, if this was a little bit of a higher proof. Now remember the Blanton's is 93, this is 90. A little bit more proof on this one. If you put this at 93 proof, maybe even 94, 95, I think it could take down the Blanton's. It just drank a little bit thinner compared to the Blanton's. Blanton's definitely finishes off sweeter than, uh, and a little bit more easy, which is why I think people love Blanton's than the Green River does. But all in all, if you can't get Blanton's, look for Green River. Absolutely delicious bourbon for 35 bucks. You know, the, the distribution on it isn't super vast yet, but as this starts making its way out to different, uh, different states, it's an immediate pickup. Uh, but right now, where it stands, Blanton's takes it. Hell of a blind tasting. All right, guys, I well, hope you enjoyed this uh, comparison on the double base as we took Blanton's compared it to the new Green River uh, Green River Bourbon from Green River Distilling. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Let me know down in the comments any other suggestions you have for some classic head-to-head -head battles. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Of course, we're going to blend them and see what happens. We are going to make... Um, we'll, we'll say it's, it's uh, Blanton's River which I'm surprised there's not a Blanton's River quite yet. All right, Blanton's River blend, coming at you. Interestingly enough, that blend turned that glass into a complete citrus bomb. It is just, it's as orange, sherbet, orange, creamsicle as they come now. So that's all the rye coming through uh, from both of these glasses. Pretty good, Blanton's River, coming at you. Take care, everybody.